one of, was one of, I think, the first grassroots nonprofit to organize the fight hydrofracking. We have a lot of involvements. I got involved in the steering committee about two years ago, and one of the biggest things we're working on right now is radon in the gas, the Marcellus gas, that will then be coming to many regions, but particularly Manhattan. Um, radon, well, let me back up. Almost every gas has some sort of radioactivity, but it just so happens that the Marcellus shale has more than most. We have, in the, in the measurements that have been taken by the USGS, between 39 and 150 or 160 picocuries per liter when it comes out of the wellhead. Radon takes about three and a half days to degrade, but when you're working with something that has that huge quantity of radon, it will take it up to maybe 10 days to degrade. The gas we get right now comes from the Gulf. The Louisiana and Texas gas has about six picocuries per liter, and it takes six days to get here. So by the time it gets to New York City, it's way below what the EPA calls safe. Or calls safe, yeah, so it's very safe. If the gas comes from upstate New York, it would take maybe up to 10 days to degrade. So then when you turn on your stove, and this would be in your home or in restaurants, gas is widely used for cooking in New York, you will have radon coming up. Radon, then, is a normal gas. It will fall to the floor. Those who would get it first would be your children or your pets. Radon is carcinogenic. If you breathe it, it goes into your lungs. You can't get it out. It will then degrade and become polonium as it would on the floor as well. If polonium then takes a little bit longer time, but it will then degrade to lead. All of these are carcinogens. The ventilation systems in apartments would not solve this problem. These potential solutions for this would be to keep the gas coming from Texas or Louisiana. Another alternative would be to put in stations upstate that hold it in check, but those are actually quite expensive and would be very complicated for the industry to do. Um, so this is actually a very huge problem. We have, in terms of doing an action, letters that we've written to Christine Quinn, and we've been meeting with the New York City Council in the hopes of getting a health impact public hearing. What you can do, thank you. What you can do is go on on the Damascus Citizens website and find the letter that we wrote to Christine Quinn. I have some copies of something that are on the table back there the Damascus Citizens website and send Christine Quinn a letter or call her or call Mayor Bloomberg. Tell them that you want a public hearing on radon in the gas that comes from Marcella Shale. Thank you. Thank you very much.